Hi guys, welcome to Code Suggest. And today also we will discuss about imputing the categorical variables or missing categorical data. So uh, today we will take a different approach. Uh, as you know, in the previous video, uh, we discussed about how we can impute the categorical missing features using the most or most frequent category which has appeared in our label. Okay. So if you have not watched that video, you can go ahead and watch that also. So, in, but in today's video, we are going to discuss that how we can impute a missing categorical feature using a particular missing category. So rather than using the mode or uh, anything else, we will simply put a new category. We will inter introduce your new category as missing in the data set. Okay. So uh, let us head over to Jupyter Notebook. I have already opened mine. So let us go ahead and uh, and then it will make much more sense. Okay. So let me import the libraries. So for now, I will import only pandas. Put pandas as pd. Okay. So let me run this cell. Okay. We have successfully it is running. Okay. So uh, let it run. Meanwhile, let me write data equals to pd dot read underscore csv and i'm using our same old house price csv files so that it is easy to follow and so i've used my house price dot csv file let us run this cell let us see what we have here so head is basically when you want to see your top five rows uh, but again, if you want to see more than uh, five rows, you can just simply write data dot head and then pass the number of rows as a variable. So here I have provided ten, so you can see that I have I'm getting my ten rows, top ten rows. Similarly, if you want to see the bottom ten rows, you can write tail. So this is how it works. Okay. So anyways, that is not the focus area of this uh, video. So. Okay, so now let us see, do we have any missing data? I know it is, but let us see. Data dot is null dot mean. So let us see how much is the missing percentage we have. So you can see now that we have some missing variable like the lot frontage has 17%. So anyways, the lot frontage is, is, a, is a numerical variable. So if you want how to input numerical variable, you can again go ahead to the series and see how we can impute the um, numerical variable using mean and median i will also leave the links in the description box below so make sure to check that out also okay so now guys uh, in order to figure out so first thing what i want since i am dealing with the categorical features now so let me grab my categorical variables so those of you who have uh, followed my previous video might be knowing it by now so I have created a vari variable categorical underscore features and here I am writing a loop here var for var in data dot columns if data var dot is null dot mean is greater than zero and i will also specify that i want only non-numerical or categorical variables and then for that i will write another query so and data var dot d types so d types is uh, to find out the uh, type of a particular variable equals to o oh, I hope I am not making any error, but let's see. Let's run this cell. Okay, and I have not made any error so far. So let me run it. Okay, so we have our uh, categorical features here. Okay, in this particular categorical underscore features variable. So now uh, in the previous video, I deal with uh, garage type. So let us do that again and let us look at this variable. So let, uh, let us see what is the what are the missing value count. So 
let me grab this particular variable and similarly you can just go follow the same approach for other variables also so let me copy this particular variable and uh, simply i will write is null dot sum and this will give me the count of my missing rows so we have 81 missing rows in this particular variable so now we know that we have uh, missing data in this particular uh, variable so now what to do so of course as you might know that we will impute it using a new category so what is that so generally it is a very followed approach guys so what is done here that as you know that in the previous videos we used to impute our categorical features uh, by using mode or most frequently appeared category in the particular variable but in this case uh, we will introduce a new category so we'll all our NAs we will replace them using missing you can use any other uh, particular uh, whatever you like but yeah it is a it is a generally uh, followed convention that we use a missing uh, category so let me do that how to do that so I will simply write data garage type dot fill any as you might have guessed this is the famous pandas function very handy and I have written missing okay so what does this mean this means that I want to impute on uh, what whatever we have the miss, uh, missing data or any data in our variable we want to simply update it using missing so we are just updating the text missing there nothing fancy okay but we will also write in place equals to true now if you wonder why we are writing in place equals to true then the purpose is that if we do not write this particular uh, line of code then uh, it the changes will not take effect so let us just do that while you to a chance so let me do that okay so I have run this cell okay I think I have made some mistake let us fix that and okay I think oh I think I have made this thing so yeah it is case sensitive and it does not like when you do these mistakes so keep that in mind okay so you see here that it is showing that okay I have updated failed the values but now if I see that do I still have any missing values in my data okay so yeah it shows that yeah I still have 81 missing data so that was the case earlier also then what is the benefit of this exercise so that is what I was I meant in the previous line when I write here in place equals to true what it does that now the changes will persist okay so now uh, when we will check our data then you will find that we do not have any missing values why because we have said it that whatever changes you are doing pandas do them in place or make them persist okay now if I uh, run it then you can see that we have zero missing data in this particular uh, variable and now let us see and plot this so why leave it to a chance let me write data caris type caris type okay now I want I will use value underscore counts so if you wonder what it what it does then it it grabs the count of every particular category or you can say that every particular instance of which this garage type has okay then I will write sort underscore values to sort my data and then I will write plot dot bar and if I run it okay it is running okay so now you can see that we have our missing uh, uh, category here so we have introduced in garage type we have introduced a new uh, category missing uh, and it is showing from like in ascending order so if you do not want it if you want to plot this in descending order simply remove this and run it now you see that the topmost category we have here is attached then we have detached then 
built in and after that we have nearly you can see that we have nearly 82 81 yeah you can see that we were having 81 instances of n is there and now if you look at this particular graph we can see that it is nearly 80 or it is 81 so all our na values have been replaced by a missing category okay so this is very easy to follow very handy very convenient and yeah it is very much used in kaggle competitions and yeah it does make very good results so do try it to impute your categorical features and if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe and like this video and uh, thank you very much thanks for your time today bye bye